Currently coached garbage. You're you're no you're facing LeBron. You know you're going to be doubling. So Brandon Ingram goes to double. Herb Jones goes to rotate to D'Angelo Russell. So then Brandon Ingram, you then go from doubling onto LeBron to going to the corner and Valanchunas comes up to Austin Reeves. You got Herb Jones and Br- the game just started. Nice preparation. Both go to D'Angelo Russell. Austin Reeves now left wide open on the wing. It is unbelievable how poorly coached the Pelicans are. They're in stupid drop coverage. Zion comes in backside help on Anthony Davis's role. So once you're done with being in backside help, I'm going back to who I was guarding. LeBron. And Valanchunas comes to Anthony Davis. What is Zion doing here? Where are you headed, sir? First of all, <clears throat> coaching Brandon Ingram. Back stays to the baseline as D'Angelo Russell cuts through. I'm always seeing ball and seeing man, but what's Valanchunas doing? You're guarding Anthony Davis in the post. Get up and start battling for position immediately. Now Ingram should be over there and help, but why is Valanchunas letting Anthony Davis... Look at this. Get up and guard. Why are you letting Anthony... Look at this. You're not even guarding until he's in the charge circle. Directly off a made basket, poorly coached trash, Herb Jones, Valanchunas, we're sprinting back to the three-point line. Sprinting back, they're going to switch here. You, Zion's going to be guarding on the perimeter. Not a great matchup defensively. That's why Valanchunas and Herb Jones both need to be back so Zion Williams can get up on the switch and then force D'Angelo Russell to the middle of the floor. The Pelicans have numbers defensively. I don't see two extra Lakers players on offense. Get in help. But nobody's getting down to the three-point line. Zion's giving up the baseline here, and it's a wide-open three off of make. Willie Green. Oh, no, shots missed. Herb Jones, you have no chance of getting this offensive rebound. Get back. Get back. You're going for an offensive rebound you have no chance of. None. And now you just gave up a three-on-two. Transition defense. This is awful. Trey Murphy... Don't gamble on the handoff. Just be ready to guard. Look at how ridiculous. Look at that stupid gamble. LeBron's in the paint. Draw help. Gabe Vincent in the corner. Do the Pelicans ever work on transition defense? You know LeBron's cherry picking right here. And it doesn't even matter what he's doing. Get back. Trey Murphy, Alvarado. Someone should be sprinting back right now on the shot. And you know LeBron's cherry picking. Everyone stands. Dunk. I mean, this is the playoffs now. Why is Jose Alvarado not sprinting back? Look at it. If Jose Alvarado sprints back, he's underneath Jackson Hayes. Look at this jogging. Sprint! What are you doing? The playoffs! The playoffs! And I mean, how do you even describe this? It's the playoffs. What is Zion Williamson and Dyson Daniels doing? Everyone's fine here. Zion's on the wing. Dyson Daniels is in the corner. Why are you calling for a switch in the middle of the play while Torian Prince is one pass away? I mean, the Pelicans, you know you're going to be doubling LeBron in this game. So Trey Murphy goes to double. Valanchunas must take Austin Reeves on the cut. That pass to the man cutting, Reeves can't get made. You'll leave Anthony Davis at the top of the key. Zion can easily rotate up from there. Herb Jones will go to the wing. Valanchunas will then go to the corner, and Trey Murphy would go from doubling onto Austin Reeves. But once Austin Reeves catches this, because you don't take him cutting, now everyone on the weak side of the floor is one pass away, and you're not rotating from that. Wide open. Ron has it in the open floor. Trey Murphy must be screaming that you're in help. Balanchunas has no chance of staying in front of the ball. Now if I know I have help in the middle of the floor, I'm up forcing LeBron into this help. Look at Balanchunas actively forcing him away from the help. Unbelievable. Pelicans are in their dumb drop coverage again, so Brandon Ingram's got to rotate down to the block so that pass to Rui Hachimura doesn't get made. So he's going to get beat off the dribble by Torian Prince. But once to- you're still guarding, like, Larry Nance comes to help, but you're still guarding Torian Prince. Like, this pass gets made out. Go guard! What is Brandon Ingram? How is this happening? What is Brandon Ingram doing? Does this look like a well-coached team to you? Yon- there is no screen coming. Jonas, stay with LeBron. What is Valanchunas doing? Why are you even calling for a switch? And then you call for a switch, but then don't actually switch. (laughs) Just pitiful transition defense. Jonas Valanchunas, I'm up. I'm in help on the ball, and I can take one of these Lakers players trailing the play, which is going to be Austin Reeves. I've got to get up. You get cross-matched all the time. You're going to have to take Austin. Why are you not taking Austin Reeves here? What was that?
I don't even know what this is. What Valanchunas, I'm up hedging, pushing LeBron James out to half court. Zion Williamson's got to be in backside up. That pass to Anthony Davis cannot get made. Cannot under any circumstances get made. And now if you push LeBron out towards half court, if a skip pass is made, Zion can easily recover to the wing and Rui Hachimura right here. But instead, you're in drop coverage. Zion Williamson hasn't moved. Or I guess now he's going to the corner. The pass to Anthony Davis gets made. Touch pass to Rui Hachimura for three. That was awful. Tyson Daniels does a great job. A great job getting in the gaps here. So Zion Williamson, don't gamble. You have help. Dyson Daniels is right there. Just keep showing your hands and sliding your feet. LeBron's dribble's getting picked up. Why is Zion gambling here on a swipe down? So now LeBron's going to be able to easily get you in the air coming because you're off balance, and then that's two at the end of the shot clock. Transition defense again. You know Anthony Davis is cherry picking. Even if he isn't, you must get back at the shot. Dyson, you're not going for the offensive rebound, get back. Even if Anthony Davis wasn't cherry picking, you've got four Pelicans players under the free throw line. Just awful. Dyson Daniels still standing there. I just will not understand in a playoff game how CJ McCollum doesn't sprint. I'm sprinting back here, okay? You're not going to be able to get to Gabe Vincent, so I'm sprinting. Sprinting, because now I got to take the ball. And Larry Nance can take Gabe Vincent, and you communicate this. Like CJ McCollum's walking back and not communicating. And one. Jose Alvarado, do you know where your help coverages are? Do the Pelicans do go over this for this game? Your help is on the wing. So Trey Murphy, if I'm forcing LeBron to the wing, I can easily help. I can easily recover. You're not, you're actively forcing him away from that help. So now Brandon Ingram's got to come in the paint. This has to be an X out. I don't know what else there is to say. Brandon Ingram goes in the paint. Larry Nance has got to be attached to Jackson Hayes. And then he would rotate up to the wing. Brandon Ingram would go from doubling back down to Jackson Hayes and X out. Uh, yeah, Willie Green. That doesn't happen. Wide open. Look at this. This is a playoff game. What What is this defense? Let, let's ice this screen. That's what I would do personally. Ice the screen, keep Austin Reeves to the sidelines and out. No place for LeBron to roll to. I have multiple defenders in backside up. Look at this pick and roll defense. You could have taken someone from the stands, come off a screen and have them get wide open for a layup. Herb Jones, it's an isolation. You're doing fine. Show your hands. You've got help. Alvarado's coming to rotate down. Force LeBron to the middle of the floor, but just show your hands, slide your feet. Why do you flip? You have help in the middle of the floor. Why are you now flipping your hips and now biting on jab steps? Well, you're giving him baseline. So you're, God, this was the single bi biggest play of this game. And my God, is this coaching. Alvarado's catching this in a two on one. Trey Murphy. Once Austin Reeves steps up to help right here, you've got to cut. One, because, you know, we want to dunk off of this. But two, you just standing in the corner lets D'Angelo Russell back in the play. Now it's a turnover. Now the Lakers, look at this. And now the Lakers have a five on four. This is a four point swing with a minute and a half left. Five on four, lob to Anthony Davis for two. This is unbelievable. One minute left, one point game. What, LeBron's setting a screen here. So you've been switching all night. Do you want to switch and have Herb Jones take Austin Reeves? Do you want to come up? So we got to do something. We can switch. Herb Jones can get up and head. You have backside help right there for LeBron James on the roll. Like, you do nothing. CJ McCollum gets screened here. You did nothing. So now Daniels has got to come to the rim and the game's over.